Sleeping mountain. Okay, put your knees up. Okay, put your knees up. <sighs> oh! You're supposed to hold them up. I don't think I want to be a mountain. Why don't you come in here? Get into bed next to me. Mm. It's a little early for me. The sun is up. you want me to go back to sleep? No, thanks. I'd rather have a story. Don't, don't you get stories at bedtime, though? Daddy gives me stories in the morning. <sighs> this is not how I had intended to start my day. I figured I'd sleep till 8, doze till 8.30, and then if I felt human, I would, I would ring for breakfast and Read the morning paper and the stories and... Say, you like stories in the morning, too. Well, my plea for compassion isn't working. How about bribery? Ryan, if I tell you one story, will you let me go back to sleep? Okay. But a real one, not a short, 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 short one. Okay, a real story. Come on, snuggle in next to me. All right. And let me think back to the days of my innocent childhood. Mm hmm Now, if you should feel sleepy, it, it won't offend me. It really won't. I want you to understand that. I understand. Okay. Well, once upon a time, there were three bears. Goody, Goldilocks! You want me to stop? I love Goldilocks, especially the part about the baby bear and the porridge. Right. Right. Once upon a time, there were three bears and they lived in a cottage by the edge of the woods. And there was some papa bear and a mama bear and a baby bear. Papa bear was in the market. That's a grown-up joke. Not so good, huh? Go on anyway. Right. Anyway, they live by the edge of the forest. And um, each one had a bowl for porridge. The Papa bear had a great big bowl and Mama Bear had a medium-sized bowl, and Little Baby Bear had a little bitty baby bowl. And they each had their own chairs, too. And Papa Bear had a great big bowl. Wait, I'm thirsty.
just get well, son. Thank you. Thank you. He's well enough, isn't he? Uh, you don't think it's going to be too much stress? As long as Mac keeps it short and sweet, it can't do anything but help. Oh, right. <laughs> No, you don't. Come on, Dee, help me think of something old and new and borrowed and blue and a sixpence to put in. Are you sure you got a sixpence? Mm -hmm. How about a subway token? That's perfect. It's old and borrowed, and you can put it in your shoe. Yeah, now you're getting into the spirit of this. Jillian? Right. Oh, Indeed. Uh, your wrist. Oh, sure. Something new. It's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Of mm -hmm. course. <laughs> I've got something old. Oh, no, no. You can't do that. It was Dad's, and it's yours. Well, now, it's yours. And I what you. is that? That's Dad's Army okay. ID bracelet. Yeah. Dee, I'd like a brief consultation. Oh, uh, something blue, uh, my what? socks, I, uh... <laughs> oh, Jack, wonderful. I noticed. Will you suppress it, okay? Well, don't give me orders, Roger. Just because you're backing away from responsibility doesn't mean I have to. Mm -hmm. Don't. I want to tell you, I'm very happy that Frank is alive. But I really think you should go back to your original plan. You win the election, that is, if you can, and then you have the wedding. I think Frank has to be on his feet again, and he has to be thinking straight. You see, I'm saying this to you because I'm trying to be helpful. Nobody should make a decision like this when there's a crisis. I don't think Frank knows at all what he's doing. I, I and you know what? He's able to... And you know what? We're what? going for a walk. I don't really want to go for Too a walk Too bad. Right You're now. going anyway. Back soon. Oh. Bye-bye. John, I don't think Frank knows exactly what he's doing. <laughs> Thanks, me. <laughs> You didn't start without me. <laughs> oh, Matt, thank you for making it. I appreciate it. Well, I'll, uh, I'll go wake the groom. Excuse me. <laughs> Keep him away. This is a far cry from the sacrament I gave Frank last night. How's he doing? I think he's doing fine. And I'm doing fine. I have something old, something new, and something blue. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm about to give you something borrowed that I think should come in useful. Oh, Ned, no, you can't. Uh -huh. Let her. She hasn't taken it off since you were married. I was just waiting for the right occasion, and now I have it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All set? Uh, mm -hmm. okay. Come back. Oh, for you. Thanks, Good How Patty. Good to see you. Hi. How are you? I think we're about ready to begin. Bless your aunt.